PeopleSoft FSCM Update Image 53 delivers the work management framework. This optional feature is based on an Enterprise Components feature and can be enabled for PeopleSoft work centers. Your organization decides whether to use this framework by enabling it for My Work transactions. These FSCM applications have adopted the work management framework with more to come. With the work management framework, you can view and manage transaction errors or warnings when they appear in the My Work section of a work center. Some transactions fall off this list through the natural progression of a business process within the system. Other transactions may require additional tasks outside of the system, like notifying specific individuals via email, making phone calls, or other tasks. When work management is enabled for a transaction, the system displays a view drop-down box above the grid and additional action options along the left side of the grid. The view options allow you to change the grid to display the transactions based on the work management status. The status is changed based on an action taken for each transaction. The action options that were available prior to enabling work management don't go away. Additional action options are available depending on the view selected at the top. When you select a work management action, it can change the work management status and move the transaction to a different view. After enabling work management for the first time, all transactions appear in the active view. Your first task may be to inactivate all transactions that are not actually exceptions, which could be for various reasons. Inactivating a transaction removes it from the active view. The count in the left navigation remains as it was, but the number of active rows is reduced by the number of transactions you changed. Use the inactive view to display all transactions that have been inactivated. The three advances for Cornelia Turner are questionable. Use the Actions menu to notify her manager. The follow-up date defaults from setup and is OK. Enter a comment to remind yourself what was performed for these transactions. You may also want to remind yourself what should occur on the follow-up date. The system notifies you that an email was sent to Cornelia's manager. The exceptions appear in the Assigned to Me view, and you can see the action history by selecting that option in the View dropdown. Use the Exception History Action option to view the history of a transaction. This example shows that there are multiple actions that have been taken by the same user. Use the All Assigned view to see all transactions that are assigned to all administrators, including yourself. This view is useful if your organization has more than one administrator who can work on transactions. Use the All History view to see all transactions where someone has taken at least one action. This view displays the Action Status column. There are no actions available from this view. This is just one example of the Expenses Work Center where work management is enabled. For more information about other applications that have adopted work management, see PeopleSoft Online documentation for Asset Management, Commitment Control, Contracts, Payables, and Project Costing. This completes the Work Management Framework demonstration. PeopleSoft FSCM enhances asset tracking by enabling users to print and scan multiple asset code formats directly within the system. Using a phone or tablet's native camera, scanned codes are automatically copied to the asset field making it easier to locate assets and eliminates the need for third-party hardware for physical inventory scans. Select the Scan icon to scan an asset tag using your device's camera. Scan an asset's QR or barcode after granting the application permission to access the camera. The system recognizes the asset and displays the asset details, 
along with related preventive maintenance schedules and work orders. The scan functionality using the device's native camera is also available on the physical inventory and scan by location pages. This completes the scan asset codes with device camera demonstration. The View Approval Status Tile is available for requesters who have submitted a transaction for approval and for approvers who have acted on a transaction. This tile is delivered on the Employee Self-Service homepage and you can add it to any Fluid homepage. Requesters can track submitted transactions and approval details without accessing the originating component that was used to create and submit the transactions. Approvers can view the status of transactions that they acted on as the transaction moves through the approval process. Please note that this page is view only and therefore doesn't replace the pending approvals page where approvers approve transactions. This completes the requester dashboard and approval statuses feature description. PeopleSoft enhances fluid contracts, projects, and asset management work centers to access insights dashboards from the My Insights pagelet. The contracts work center displays cost reimbursable award financials, award portal, and contracts analytics insights. The projects work center displays project cost analytics, project billing analytics, project revenue analytics, and year-over-year -year project analytics insights. The Asset Management Work Center displays asset analytics and year-over-year -year asset analytics insights. This completes the Access Insights Dashboards from Fluid Work Center's description. PeopleSoft enhances the bank account encryption functionality by allowing approvers to unmask and view the bank account to validate it as part of the approval process. You must select the Authority to Unmask Account Number option on the Supplier Processing Authority page to enable this feature. This completes the feature description for Financial Management Solution. Authorized requesters can now change the priority to Rush for items that are needed right away when creating fluid requisitions. The Rush Priority option is available in Requisition and Purchase Order Components. The Rush option is used when expediting, quick sourcing, and auto sourcing requisitions into purchase orders with specific approval and special handling instructions for shipping. Use the My Requisitions page to display the requisition priority, which can also be used to filter the requisition list. Use the Pending Approvals page to filter, view, and approve requisitions and purchase orders that have a rush priority. This allows you to expedite the processing for these transactions. Use the Purchase Order and Express Purchase Order pages to create rush purchase orders with separate approval and shipping information. This ensures orders are processed quickly by a supplier. You can also dispatch a purchase order based on its priority. The Print Preview for Rush Requisitions and Purchase Orders displays rush order text at the top of the preview. PeopleSoft enhances supplier contract management to expand the use of DocuSign's anchor tags to include initials, optional initials, and company fields. Document authors can use anchor tags as placeholders for signer input. These tags automatically position the required fields, making the signing process smoother. Newly supported fields in PeopleSoft are initials, signers must enter their initials, optional initials, signers can choose whether to enter their initials, and company captures the signer's company name. This completes the feature descriptions for supplier relationship management. P 
PeopleSoft enhances project costing, pricing, and rate set criteria configuration to include partial wildcards and exclusions. Select the Exclude checkbox to omit a specific cost from billing and revenue recognition. The system also supports the use of partial wildcards as criteria in the rate set. This simplifies rate set configurations for customers with complex criteria and exceptions when generating cost, billing, and revenue in project costing. This completes the feature description for enterprise service automation. This list provides additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 53. In General Ledger, users can now determine whether they want a confirmation message to display when requesting the edit journal process from the journal lines page. During the journal import process, you can now import multiple files at one time instead of individually. Approvers can now add a comment when denying a journal and that comment is displayed on the approval pages. In Receivables, Excel Upload for Deposits template now includes the deposit type and all payment methods defined on the deposit type or business unit options are accepted. Dunning letter text is increased to 3,500 characters. In Payables, the payment posting process can now generate cash clearing entries for non-federal ACH and EFT payments. In e-procurement, the requisition load process allows bill only and bill and replace requisitions to be staged using the XML files. In addition, some search pages now use installation option flags to determine their filter behavior. In expenses, expense reports that have a pending, denied, and approved status can now be deleted from the expenses admin view. In grants, many pages now display values using zeros instead of blank fields. In project costing, you can inactivate accounting rules if they contain inactive project and other chart fields. In asset management, asset location and profile ID changes are now included in the load depreciation report process. In lease administration, you can now enter an invoice number to payables leases. And in maintenance management, you can transfer PM schedules between maintenance management business units. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.